Hi, everyone. Well, here I am back on Never Lose Truth because I got community guideline strikes today on my backup channel. I did not want to start posting on Never Lose Truth, my primary channel, like this, but I don't have a choice. Your content violated YouTube's community guidelines, and it has been removed. And what was my violation? I apparently violated their spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. Really? By linking to a website. That's how I did it. Link. It's the link. Um, yeah, I guess by linking to a website, I somehow spammed, scammed, or deceived someone. You know, the censorship, it's coming fast and furiously. And frankly, Without, without you guys, I don't know how I will survive considering what happened to my life. Um, but it's coming fast and furiously. We are lock step close to being China. No joke. And I'll show you a little bit of why we are lockstep close. But I, I, this is the website. Maybe it's a website in Iran and YouTube didn't like the Iran link. So they've decided it's spam or deceptive or a scam. It was a link to this article, Red Flag Raised, Signaling Revenge for Soleimani. Well, okay. All right, YouTube. You know, these, look, I got community guideline strikes. That's why I wasn't posting on Never Lose Truth. Then I'm just posting, and I went, you know, a little bit longer than my two weeks that I had on my Never Lose Truth channel, this channel. So I went back to start posting on Never Lose Truth again, and it was well over the two-week period that I couldn't post, and learned that Never Lose Truth got another community guideline strike. So I had another two weeks. And then I just was posting and literally forgot my primary channel. You know, when you've had a stroke, things are not the same. <laughs> so trying to keep things organized, trying to not get so thrown by little disruptions that would never have thrown me before, well, they throw me now. And being hit with all of these disruptions on YouTube, it's really, it's hard. But it's just another form of censorship. Soon, we will only have the official narrative. That's it. You won't hear the voices that speak the truth. This is getting rid of the truth. And there's a lot of calls for it right now. And that is, that's so beyond upsetting to me. And one would like to see that the truth really 
is like paramount with other people because without truth, that's it. Life is a joke, everything's meaningless, and you just go on. Well, some of us won't be able to just go on. But I don't see a lot of people caring. So this is only going to continue. And, you know, when you see articles like this, um, oh, this was the <laughs> video that I got it. They took the content down? No, they hid the link. That's what they did. They hid the link. But of course, mommy YouTube, you know, Google is daddy and mommy is YouTube. Um, they have to punish me for a week. And I can't even leave a message on the community page on my channel to just inform subscribers if they went to the channel and looked at the community page. I can't even post there to just let people know that I have been suspended by YouTube. All right, well, this apparently is what they did that got the violations on this channel, Never Lose Truth, but they hit me twice, twice, for the same link, and that was a link to some manifesto. It was on Drudge Report. Drudge. I linked to Drudge and got two community guideline strikes. But they, you too, when they first hit me with that community guideline strike, they informed me they removed the content. So I didn't think to remove it because they said they removed it. But then they hit me again for that same link that they removed. So now I see the link is only hidden. So when they say they removed it, they didn't remove it. Our team has removed your content. No, you hit it. But surely that link is not spam or deceptive or a scam. How do you follow these guidelines when nothing makes sense? You appeal it, and that's when you get a really fast response from YouTube. I've appealed these, and I will get a response within an hour. Whoa, yeah, you're fast when you deny appeals. So it's all set up. They sure didn't review my appeal in an hour. It's all set up to deny appeals. This is not a private company. Google, uh, YouTube, Facebook, they, these are not private corporations. These are government platforms. So when China is right out there jailing people for criticizing the president, how dare you, post pictures, pictures, claiming this is President Z, or pictures Winnie the Pooh, a character currently censored in China after Chinese netizens made an unflattering comparison to Z. This is a University of Minnesota student jailed in China over tweets. Don't criticize the man or you'll get jailed. Oh, we're close. Virginia politicians proposed a bill 
making it illegal to criticize them. We are very close. That we could have anyone in this country propose a bill like this, that means our country has changed. That means the person who proposes this bill, he proposed it believing that he wouldn't get much criticism. Jeffrey Bourne, HB 1627, threats and harassment of certain officials and property. The officials, the governor, governor-elect, lieutenant governor and elect, attorney general or elect, member or employee of the General Assembly, a justice of the Supreme Court of Virginia, or a judge of the Court of Appeals. In addition, any threats to damage property may be prosecuted. Why are these people more important than anybody else? Why did they have to propose legislation to make sure that no one voices anything that is deemed a criticism to all of these officials? You pay their taxes. They work for you. They work for you, for you. So how do they come off proposing this kind of legislation? Well, you think threats and harassment? Well, that, that's really bad, right? Oh, not when they have defined a threat or harassment in other codes, vulgar language. If any person with the intent to coerce, intimidate, or harass any person shall use a computer or computer network to communicate obscene, vulgar, profane, lewd, lascivious, or indecent language. I don't know why they had to throw all of those words in because they're pretty much synonymous, but whatever. Ah, they just like to throw in a lot of words. Yeah. All of that in decent language or make any suggestion or proposal of an obscene nature, of an obscene nature, or threaten any illegal or immoral act, he shall be guilty of a class one misdemeanor. Um, do you see how vague this is? I'm glad the person who wrote this article included this. People in public office open themselves up to criticism. They open themselves up to being criticized, to being laughed at, to having people call them names. That's called free speech. But that is being killed off. And you know what? Not a lot of Americans care. which means we're looking at this. Because if you don't care about this, and you don't care about this, that allows all of these people who are committing an immoral act by silencing any which way they can, it gets them closer to this.
All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know how to, you know, tell my subscribers on my backup channel that I can't post there. So, uh, this is getting harder, guys. All right. I also want to show you what a subscriber of mine sent me. She posting vaxxed vaccine information on Facebook. What did she get? A Facebook uh this notice false information where she was posting the vaccine information false information when it's the truth it was checked by independent fact checkers that facebook has and they came up with false information when it's the truth things are becoming so obvious now that we are in deep trouble deep trouble soon enough all you will hear is the official narrative on YouTube it'll be the official narrative and entertainment that's it but the internet the whole internet the censorship is getting very tight, very real, very in our face, and I'll be posting more about it. But there's not one thing that we can do when the majority of your fellow Americans don't care. There's nothing we can do. But when you manifest all of what we are living now, when you manifest what is so obviously, despicably wrong, when you manifest, obviously, violation certainly of our Constitution, when you manifest obviously your country turning into a totalitarian society when it becomes so obvious and people are just not doing a thing you know that they're bringing you down fast and the close on this country is coming fast it's coming fast. These are government platforms. Department of Defense, DARPA, intelligence agencies, funded platforms like Facebook and Google, and I've posted many videos. Who funded it then? The American taxpayers. And then they just put up a face, Mark Zuckerberg or Eric Schmidt, and claim that it's a private company. It's not. They have contracts with government. Now, th this censorship that's going on all over Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and YouTube, and Google. Why isn't our government stepping in to say, okay, we're going to give, you know, what, Amazon $600 million contract or, but a condition is that you don't surveil Americans with your ring. 
well, we're not going to do that because our country has turned into a totalitarian state. It's all surveillance, social media platforms. They wanted all of your data. They wanted to know everything about you. So they created platforms like Facebook. They wanted your face. Why? Facial recognition. Google controls information. Governments, government politicians, they love it. Ah, you can control information. Great. You know, the call for, oh my God, so many. Here, an American. She's a uh, Democrat in Florida. Representative Kathy Castor, the chairperson of the House Select Committee on the Climate Crisis. Here she is with Greta. Greta, who apparently has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize? Are you friggin' kidding me? Okay, but this, this woman? You don't need the United Nations to hand the internet over to these dictatorships to control the internet, which is what is taking place. General Assembly has approved a resolution, a resolution, sorry, sponsored by China and Russia to set up a committee of international experts whose role would be to stop the use of information and communications technologies for criminal purposes. Back door for further censorship. That's exactly what it is. But who, you know, we've got our own dictators. So here you have this American who's clearly a baby boomer or a very old looking Gen X who is calling for YouTube to demonetize um, any videos that are putting out harmful misinformation regarding the climate. YouTube has been driving millions of viewers to climate misinformation videos every day, a shocking revelation that runs contrary to Google's important missions of fighting misinformation and promoting climate action, said Ms. Castor, who requested a response February 7 from Google. Yes, she sent a letter to Google Monday to remove climate disinformation videos from YouTube. Wow. Castor's demand that Google pull down climate skeptic YouTube videos because she doesn't approve of their content, even though the content is fact-based fact-based. And she wants it removed. Is there an outcry from, well, everybody but Floridians? Hello? I don't hear you. I don't hear you. What about that First Amendment? What about posting videos that are fact-based. Posting videos of scientists and physicists and meteorologists and a whole lot of, well, people in the field of climate who dispute what the IPCC is saying. I want to say, how dare this woman do this? 
But this now has become so commonplace that Americans are used to it. They're just used to it. And they don't care. On the, I'm, I'm saying Americans on the whole. Not every American. I care. <laughs> I know a lot of you care. But where's the outcry? Floridians, even if you don't like the fact that people are posting fact-based videos on the fact that this climate change hysteria, it was brought about based on a lie, and they're still lying about it, even if you don't like it, do you understand that it is a First Amendment right to speak freely and censoring that speech means there will be more censorship coming your way. So when you speak out on a subject, you not caring too much about the official narrative and you're shut down and you won't be able to speak it, how do you think you're going to feel? It's truly amazing what is going on here. Soros-linked group seeks to purge climate skeptics on YouTube. A linked group, a VAS, a VAS, a VAS, a left-leaning nonprofit group published a report on the 16th of January on its website that claims YouTube is profiting by broadcasting misinformation to millions of people by giving climate denial videos too much prominence. So this group wants them to be demonetized and the videos hidden that denies climate change, regardless of the facts or the scientific evidence. Get rid of them. Is an agenda being pushed? When anyone tries to silence you from speaking facts and evidence that goes against their agenda, you know they have an agenda. And when you have an agenda, and then you come out like just a sick, twisted dictator wanting all of the information that goes against your agenda removed, that this is a woman who does not want you living in a free society. She wants you to be living in a dictatorship, in a totalitarian society. This woman should be removed from her office immediately, immediately, immediately. So, of course, Vice Time, Gizma, Gizmato, uh, The Verge, Countless other news entities want YouTube to punish creators who don't tow the correct ideological line, the official narrative. Go against that official narrative? And you get memory hold. And another... Well, people are also calling to jail climate deniers. But here, another one. Uh, University of Melbourne Center for Advancing Journalism and academic Dennis Mueller. Mueller uh, climate censorship should be added to legally binding jur uh, journalistic professional codes of conduct. Wow climate change deniers and those shamelessly peddling pseudo 
science and misinformation are perpetuating ideas that will ultimately destroy the planet. And what we're doing is actually trying to get the truth out. It's the IPCC that is shamelessly peddling pseudoscience. And no matter how much evidence you have, still can't get through to people. So, this is very, very upsetting and quite scary. And there's so much more, but I'll save that for another video. For those of you who didn't have my backup channel link and I haven't seen you in a while, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're not having to work very hard at maintaining your sanity. Yeah. So I'm posting back here, Never Lose Truth. The links to my backup channel and to my BitChute channel are below. Anyone who has an idea of how I can message people or get the word out that once again, I can't post on a channel, now my backup channel, you know, I'd appreciate hearing that idea. I'd appreciate it if you could maybe get the word out. Thanks a lot, guys. Ciao.